And that is why Raymond's not here. Well, wait, why Why is he here? You just said that's you, why Raymond's you, you not just here. You just walked into the room, sat down, and said that. Oh. Um, None of us listen to Extra Extra Cast Stranger. I, I do. I know we were there to explain it, but none of us listen to ourselves. I well, do. Uh, I've stated it before, him. I'm a fan of our own show. Just, just excuse You're the You're ruining show. the joke! Yeah, I know. I'm a joke ruiner. I'll know I do. where I was going. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's a dad now. Right off a cliff. He's a dad. You spoiled it! I'm just kidding. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just I'm just this is the spoiler free show! Uh, God! Uh, I just think it's really amazing. We need uh, this is awkward. The and cue the roll call! Sorry. We're, We're live! live. Equipment wielder, blue caster, Cheetah Zazeel. Loyal and Lab, blue caster, Light Red. Explorer from the unknown, yellow caster, Auto Guard. One little spark of courage, green caster, global soft perka. Broadcasting loud and opinionated perspectives across the internet. Radio Sentai Cast Ranger on air! Ladies, gentlemen, listeners of all shapes and sizes, thank you for joining us on our amazing journey. We are at Cast Ranger episode 150. Yeah, I'm you too, baby. <laughs> We've been genetically engineered to be superior than the episode that happens next week. We dreamed of making the, the world's the most powerful. Episode. We dreamed of making the most, the greatest the Cast Ranger episode ever, and we succeeded. Yeah, fifty episodes ago. <laughs> Regular. Show I don't know which Pokemon is number one hundred, or I'd make the joke. Um. 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 um uh, hang on. Hang on. Hang Who on. can wiki it first? It Siri, it what is the hundredth Pokemon? I think it might be Pinsir. I think so. Just look at Pokemon number 100. Pokemon number 100. <laughs> We're making this a discussion. Damn it! It didn't go through. It just said Pokemon number. Damn it, Siri! <laughs> I got it. Hang on. No, no, no. It's me. it's me. It's me. It's Voltorb. me. It's me. It's me. Uh, and Yellow Caster wins! It's Voltorb! <laughs> <laughs> It's Voltorb, okay, I don't it's know why, Voltorb. why I thought it was Voltorb's thumbnail! It's explosive. <laughs> you know what? You know what, for the thumbnail? Spoilers, we're doing Common Sentai Go Rider. Yeah. You have to have Spoilers! Our, it's it, in the description! You have to have <laughs> our, our Cast Ranger helmets over theirs, and since Raven's not here, put red... The, put Voltorb Rider with... Is. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Put Octorider with what? With Voltorb. Wait, with, oh my with god! Voltorb is ahead. <laughs> Done. No, no, and over and on the Voltorb, that's the head. You have to put a hat on him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. How would that even work? Because it's oh, I'll make it work. Oh, His head's I, so round. I made Zuland great again. I can do this. That was amazing. In fact, it's gonna be that hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, oh just have it. We have our own like cannon just, and just, just, just have be it. alive right now. <laughs> just have it say, "I'm a dad." <laughs> I'm running on five hours of sleep. In fact, what better way to celebrate Cast Ranger than to crack open a cold one? You mean Fuck that, yeah! You mean that thing you do every episode? Yeah, but this one's special. This one's celebratory. <laughs> hey, she jokes on you. That's beer. <laughs> ah, shit! <laughs> I'm just kidding. But no, we are fine. We are finally talking about Common Sentai Go Rider. People have been asking us to talk about it, and we've been saving all three episodes in for this special. Yeah, because I watched the first episode, I'm like, you know what? This is so good. It we have really to do good. this for 150, then Polgasari. Even though Polgasari was funny last week. Yeah, by the way, because, because someone on our YouTube channel asked... You know how last week I talked about like how even rereading my own notes, they didn't fucking make any <laughs> sense? Someone on the comment for that video said that they wanted to see what my notes were. So I posted them on our Patreon. So anyone oh. who follows our Patreon can see the fucking insane mental ramblings of Bluecaster as I watched Pulgasari. Wow. 
And I think what I might do from now on, just so we have more Patreon exclusive content, is post all of the notes from everything we watch up on the Patreon. There's sometimes some well, jokes we good. miss. Exactly. That that is good. That, that's so close. so there you go, listeners and viewers. More Patreon exclusive content. You're welcome. You're welcome. No. Oh, I was gonna. For the tide, the sun, my fucking the general manager and district manager of my work fucking sing that song and it's. Because it's such a great song. I'm sorry that but they're like late thirties men, and they're just they're singing a Disney song. It's Who is weird. sung by a late forty year old man? But that's the Rock. The Rock can do whatever the fuck he wants. Anyways, if you didn't listen to Extra Extra Cast Ranger, this go week, buy Moana on Blu-ray right now. No, don't I'm point so- at Mike. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> don't point at Midnight Blue. That's Midnight Blue. Emily likes Disney. Em- don't point at MS. <laughs> I like to see MB. Most, MB. I still what the think the fuck? Is- MS? MS? Oh, no. Multiple sclerosis? Where to support MS? No! <laughs> Anyways, like I was trying to say, so if, you, if you didn't listen to Extra Extra Cast Ranger episode 84 this week, uh, Red Caster is not here because his child was born this week. It's a- Indigo yeah. Caster was born mm-hmm. to us on Wednesday, May 3rd at 7.04 p.m., and she's healthy. The mother and father are happy, and they're all doing fine, and, uh, Hopefully Raven will be back next week to talk That's about it. That's a bottle of water, Gar, not a baby. It's my baby! <laughs> it's no. Aqua Caster! It's got shaking baby syndrome! <laughs> I love those videos of people playing the, like, the baby part on Tomodachi Life, and they just shake the fucking dance. <laughs> 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 and they throw it on the Is that floor. a thing? Yeah. Look no at them. Idea. It's super, it's cruel, but super now funny. Think, no. I had no idea, because I'm not an asshole. No, thank you. Ow, my arms are from shaking them, because I worked out today. <laughs> Oh. Now I'm thinking of the Game Grumps video where it's, um, uh, not Barry. Barry! I think it was Barry and, uh, Brian playing, uh, the baby. The oh, baby no, it was there. Ross and Brian playing Who's Your Daddy? Yeah, Who's Your Dad? Yeah, I, I watched that video this week. I love it, Daddy. Anyways. I hope um, the show was about tokus. Also, also, yeah. quick ne- also quick news, um, my coworker uh, Shizuka, she went to Japan uh, for a week. What? Like, back home to Japan for a week. Uh, just because she wanted. Why didn't you talk about this on extra? Because I wanted to save it for the show. Okay, fine. Whatever. Um, so that's right. I like I... asked her to like s- find me some like exotic Pepsi flavors because they have like weird flavors of Pepsi in Japan, like watermelon and stuff like that. And unsuccess. Uh, sadly, she didn't find any. I was like, and you were given something that is not Pepsi. No, but it's fucking honestly, this is better. She. I can she, drink this. She, she got me a uh, Gashapon Kutama and like the so Kirin like, one. Yeah, she got me the Kirin one, so the giraffe Kutama. Uh, I would have laughed my ass. Off I can if drink she that brought, if she brought you like Ultraman stuff, or like Shishi Red or something. I would have oh, been like, or the, oh. the Q No, but what I said to her afterwards, I was like, you know what? I'm glad you didn't get me Pepsi because Pepsi only lasts for so long. But this Kutama will last forever. And she's like, "Oh, Lankun! Like, gave me a <laughs> wait, 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 did she wait, seriously wait, 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 call wait. you Lankun? Yeah, I call her Shizu Chan all the time. <laughs> this Kutama will last forever. <coughs> or until I decide to sell it. <coughs> no. So, this month. My, oh. Don't, sell, don't, don't no, sell it. No, that's mean. I'm joking. It, it's like how my sister got me a can of common cider when she went to Atomic Lollipop. And the thing is, like, it actually... That name is... Terrible. Which common one? Common cider. Common cider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically. It, Do any of you not notice what that sounds like? Common cider. Oh, common cider. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. No, 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 no. I'm no, terrible. No, no, and the funny no, thing is, though, it's Black R X, no, so it's like no, it's no, Mask no, Rider. No, 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 no. Come on, Carmen. No, 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 no. No, no. I had to no, say it. No. I had to say it because our listeners will no. say it. Gar, can we get a trademark Gar no? No. Can I do it? Gar is no. now hiding. I have your permission to do it. No. Gar is now hiding under his own Parker ghost. No. No. No! I am the, I am Ganesh. <laughs> Stop <No>. chasing Ganesh! <laughs> Stop! Let me go! Ganesh commands you! Hey guys, look. We've, we've talked for nine minutes without even talking about Go Rider yet. Hey scared. guys, look, I'm my own Sentai villain. I cover my mouth. Look, I'm a Mortal Kombat character. Dead Kamen Riders become a Sentai Rider Go Team. Woo, the uh, end. Okay, so we're talking about all three episodes of Go Common Sentai Go Rider this week. and uh, uh, Let's figure out how long the Go Riders are actually in. <laughs> Not long. Like three minutes. <laughs> Spoilers! Not as long as the Power Rangers in the Power Rangers movie! Ah! Well, it actually is more. less than that. Lane, it could be worse. Mm-hmm. It could be worse. 
could be the turbo ring oh, in the fuck. turbo movie. Oh fuck, that's true. Oh. They were only in it for like yeah, ten minutes. L- Lane, I don't want to fuck. What? Do that. <laughs> what? I was about to fuck Gar and I I, 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 have, what? I, I have nothing to say to this. Nani? Can I go into the corner over there with people who don't say that? I, I won't, I'm not actually gonna Please. fuck Gar. No, I know that. But that not while cool. we're on the air. Oh my god. What? People. What? Oh my goodness. Yeah, so. What is this show? It's how, one, how it's are one this, fifty. This is how we make the hundred and fifty episode special. We what? don't talk about the feature topic. <laughs> Most of us are running on no, not sufficient sleep. <laughs> So we're fucking cuckoo bananas tonight. I'm still trying to figure out how we're gonna lead into this. Um, like Cue this. The roll call. <laughs> exactly. We're no, supposed to just go kidding. quiet, quickly, just like that. <laughs> yeah. Play the bumper there. You know what, Anthony? Play the the roll call 150 times simultaneously. No! <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> Do that would be not! So annoying. Just, just get the video file back. It's like four hours long. You can't even comprehend just the processing power to to process 150 audio tracks at once. Yet people are able to do that whole oh plays five million times. You know what they probably do? They like do several at once, render it, and then put that as one video clip oh, and yeah, keep going. Yeah, that's what they do. Oh god, that's a nightmare. I couldn't subject anyone like to that. Like jazz. Like jazz. Like jazz. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so, Go Rider, yeah. episode one. Uh, Emu dies. Emu wakes up in a fucking roller coaster. No, apparently. Emu dies. That is the name of the episode. But he doesn't die until episode three. Or does he? <gasps> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> episode one is the best episode of the Go Riders. How's that? Uh, it's mostly dialogue driven, and it, like. It's heavily focused on in reintroducing all these old characters. And that yeah. was cool, because I actually haven't watched most uh, of these. For those who don't know, Common Sentai Go Rider is basically about Emu teaming up with deceased riders from the past. We have another we have another Agito from Comrade Agito. We have Bl- Comrade Blade from his from the the eponymous Common Rider Blade. Yeah, uh, we got Common Rider Baron from Common Rider Gaim, Common Rider Malika from Gaim as well, and then we have everyone's favorite dead rider now, Kyria, aka Common Rider Laser from X Eight. Sorry. Yeah, I apologize if I don't remember everyone's name. Oh, like, I do. Like others. Uh, okay, they're I probably can, in the notes. I can do this. Are they in the um, notes? Oh, I. Oh, please, allow me. K- Kenzaki Kazuma, um, Kino Kaori, Nato Yoko, Kumon Kaito, Kujo Kiria, and <laughs> Kino something. It's Kino, Ka- Kino Kaoru. Yeah. Whatever. But they, and the cool thing is, like, they all do, like, their traditional, tra- like, henshin sequences. Yeah, it was really neat to see it. Oh, yeah. yeah. For those that are, like, actually wondering, I like to say transformation sequences instead of henshin sequences. Right. Henshin is so thing. iconic. Yeah, but transformation sequences sounds a bit easier off the tongue. You're just saying that because you like Transformers. Henshin sequence, henshin that sequence, henshin sequence. <laughs> sounds pretty easy to say to me. Yeah. Uh, so, we get Emu walking around uh, a theme park, which turns out to be on an island, which is, like, floating in nowhere space. It, it's like... And then it turns into a quarry. <laughs> yeah, they, get, they, get, they go to a plot quarry later. <laughs> but they, he goes into, like, the one place that he can go into, which is way smaller on the outside, but inside it's the church from episode two of, of Eggs Aid. Ichi. Ichi. The TARDIS. Yes. Can, can you say it's bigger on the inside? You just did? Yeah! This is the TARDIS in Japan. Sure. Um... I'm not you sure if it actually is the church from episode two, but it looks like it. I swear, that's not even a church. That's just a set. It's just a building set that they use <laughs> for whatever. Just, yeah. For all we know, it's the same church from the Drive movie. I don't all know. we know, it's the same church from Kuga. It could be, I don't know. <laughs> all the way back from <clears throat> 2000. And inside is a geisha version of Puppy People Papo. For a second there, I thought you were going to say a gay version. <laughs> <laughs> she could be gay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to say that on the air. What are you having against gay people, Gar? I don't. <laughs> Not officially. 
Anyways, uh-huh. I'm not. Let's not start that. I'm not, I'm not going there. So she like she repeats the same lines over and over about like sitting here d- drinking tea and waiting for the master. And Drink your fucking tea. Literally, but halfway through the second episode, I predicted exactly what was going on with her. I knew that she was a game NPC, and I'm so glad I was on the money. Now, now I'm thinking about the rabbit from the 2010 Alice in Wonderland movie. How do you like my soup? It needs more salt. Salt picks up the salt shaker, whips it at the, <laughs> whips it at the wall it's because time he went. It's for D. He went batshit crazy. <clears throat> more batshit crazy than the Mad Hatter. So we were watching the version that was subbed by TV Nihon, and one which of the it's the only one subbed. Yeah, but the greatest part about their version of this, since be- they subbed all the old shows, they used the fonts. Yeah, that on the old great. shows for each character that was talking. Yeah. Little background graphics and stuff. It was Which, a really nice touch. Yeah, it's like yay. That's why I love Nihon. They do different graphics for each show. That way, it doesn't get stale. Something that I thought was really, really weird and unnecessary was the fact that like the creamer for the tea inside the church was inside a book. Like it was like a book disguised as like a holder of tea accessories. In a holder of I know what we're doing for our new place. A book. Sorry? No, it's just I remember you actually wrote the cream yeah, book. Yeah, the cream in book. The notes, and I was just like, what the heck's the cream book? And then I remembered. <laughs> oh, the book with the creamer in it. I just The book that literally has cream in it. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> No, oh I, my like, God. I, I like All that... the pages are just cream the rabbit. I love that like Why Emu... is it sticky? I love that like Emu like no. accidentally like, spilled his coffee or whatever like that and then he like gets to the floor he's like oh fuck it's not gonna come out and he's like trying to leave a stage. Up. it's gonna leave a stage shit yeah. I'm a terrible guest in this place I don't know where I am yeah Emma was just confused and it's like yeah he walks outside and then Aragito's there he's gonna fight him but then Blade shows up and he's like oh I ain't having none of this shit we're all gonna work together nope I'm out where are you going Naragito? going and that's when they discover that there's some sort of spatial loop in place keeping them yeah, where they are. they can't are. leave. It's like the Hotel California. Remember how in com- not com- right, Pokemon Rise of Darkrai? I haven't watched that. Okay, basically the town, thanks to the Alga and Palkia being assholes, gets trapped in a pocket dimension in which nobody can leave. Does that mean they're all pocket monsters? Oh, yeah, it's like, no. It's like an amusement park, like, surrounded <laughs> by water... Like, it looks like it's in the sky, too. Yeah, it's like... like what, it's is it Super weird. Mario Sunshine? Oh. Like, I know it's a game, but still. Special Super Mario Super Sunshine is also a game. So... <gasps> oh, God! <laughs> Emily, you've cracked the code. So, yeah. so we hear some, some conversations between Kaito and Yoko, and Kaito seems to be, like, closer to his early version of his character, where he's, like, like unsocial to the point where he won't even tell people his name. But it seems like even a regression past that because during the entirety of the Gaim series, Kaito was very upfront mm-hmm. about, I'm Kumon Kaito, I'm the guy who's going to rule oh, your yeah. fucking asses. And then Lane brought up a point in which he's kind of disappointed about. When they're all addressing each other, they, Kaito and Yoko call themselves common riders. Yeah, that bothered me because they riders. call themselves armored riders. But then you need to think of it. In Showa versus Heisei, Kamen Rider Tyson, Kamen Rider Ichigo acknowledge Gaim and all the other Gaim Riders as Kamen Riders. That's true. Is that canon? But were Baron and Malika there? No, but like he addressed he them as like like that's. I, I feel like that's not good enough. Well, even Kaito was with you know, with uh, Shotaro. Yeah, Shotaro. Yeah. Uh, Kamen Rider Joker, in which that's when they realized, oh yeah. We're called common riders, not armored riders. Is that movie canon, though? Firstly, yeah, is it canon? You, I don't if, think so. Possibly. And and secondly, I feel like that's not good enough to explain why they immediately call themselves common riders. But at the same time, I, honestly, as much as I should care, I really don't. Mm. I do. It's such a background detail because, of Gaim. Because even we called them common riders instead of armored riders. Yeah, it felt like armored riders was just a, an attempt to like be edgy it, and different that really didn't need to be like there. It's own show. It's like how all the riders in Hibiki are called Onin. Yeah, I, we still call them riders. Mm-hmm. 
Um, the names are still Common Rider Kai and Common yeah. Rider Bear. Yeah, <laughs> but what I was saying about Kaito and Yoko, whereas Kaito feels like a regression of his character, Yoko feels the go- like she's gone off in a completely yeah, different she direction. Yeah, like a totally different person. From she's well, like Kaito, way too like girly well, and like well, subservient. Well, 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 well Kaito kind of did change her opinion. I know, stuff. but like. She seemed to always be like, yes, I am your loyal servant and I will follow you into battle. Whereas here she's like, yeah, we're like friends and I'm and we're all going to be happy and you like, know, I love you and shit. You know who that kind of reminds me of? She smiled way too much and it was super creepy. You know who it really reminded me of? Gamora in Guardians 2. She kind of... Because it's like, well, no, it's like in the first movie she was like, co- like cold, sensitive and like... Just Yoko's all, we have an unspoken thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a penis? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so yeah, Kyria shows up just in time to fight off some shocker monsters, and it's oh, yeah, awesome. For, oh, yeah, for some odd reason, there are shocker monsters in this. Because there's like at first, yeah, it doesn't make sense. Because, okay. it's, it's because this these specials are immediate follow-ups to the Cho superhero Tyson movie. Yeah, it makes sense. Like shocker villains, okay. But then, you know, once you find out what happens in episode two and three, it's kind of yeah, confusing. The, the fact, yeah, because if you're hearing this, you'd have watched them all already. So they're they're in a video game world, which I predicted slightly before mm-hmm. they announced it. Um, which means the fact that there are shocker monsters here really isn't well explained. It's just they're there, and it's not even just shocker because halfway through part two we get. Uh, a monster that is clearly a reference to the Black Cross King from Go Ranger. I looked it up, by the way. His name is Totema. Totema. Yeah. And then when he merges, when Genmu like powers up with his power, it's called Common Rider Totema Dash Genmu. That's like some Sephiroth final form bullshit. I actually Tema. really like it though. Mm. But yeah, in which Kyria shows up and Emma's like. Is it really you? Yeah, it's me. I thought you were dead, and then all the like everyone in the room clicks in. Wait, we're oh all my dead. god, we all died! Yeah, it's and, like, and then they proceed to show like cool like all the clips of them at like their deaths. Yeah, their death. So yeah. like we see like we see uh, another Agito just like sitting there dead. Then we see uh, Monica and Kaido's arms, and then Kaido and Koda's arms. <laughs> A lot of people die isn't. Dies in arms. And then Blaine has like the best explanation where he's like, Well, not I'm really an undead, dead. so technically I'm not human, but it's pretty much the same as being dead. Undead. He's a cor he's basically a walking corpse. He's I'm a- actually He's a zombie! Jedi oh! silly string. I'm actually like <laughs> way so beyond strange. happy that he was included in this, particular ex- exactly for that reason, that he's not dead but not alive. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then, you know, thank I God. I thought he was cool. It makes you really want to watch his show. Blade is a fantastic show. Blade? I marathoned the entire thing in a weekend because it was so good. Blade is a decent show until the end. And I didn't mean to. to uh, that. Oh, that is perfectly fine. Here's the thing. It's just, I honestly would argue that the first 13 episodes are the slowest part because I would honestly prefer those to be sectioned off in their own Kamen Rider Garen series because it's all about how Garen is a whiny little bitch. I, wa- I, wa- I started watching Blade for Garen. Because of Hajime. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Chow Hajime is the reason just, you watch Blade. I'm sorry, I just can't get over that ending. I liked it. It was like beautifully bittersweet, but we won't. Anyways. Yeah. We won't. I'd like to say we won't spoil it, but the thing we're talking about spoils it. Yeah. yeah in which I feel so sorry for Emily. She's never seen any of these shows, and she already knows all these characters. I die. actually um have, I am watching Gun, but I'm not at the point in which those characters die. Oh shit. <laughs> Well, yeah. like when you There's announced that Baron was one of the Go Riders back on the extra extra, I was like, wait, Baron died? Yeah, and and there's a lot of people complaining about the fact that Go Rider spoils Blade's ending, but I'm like, unless you started watching Rider recently, that show is 13 years old. Whatever the fucking statute of limitations on spoilers is, that's well past yeah. it. And to think, Ichi, we're like hardcore Rider fans, where it, we're like, yeah. we're gonna watch every single series. Where some people are like, oh, I never watched this show or that show. Like, How oh. long have you been a fan? Six years. Why haven't you gone back and watched the others? At that point, you don't get to bitch about being spoiled for Blade. Exactly. Well, I got spoiled by TV tropes Kuga. years ago. So yeah. Oh, yeah, you never finished Kuga. Actually, fun fact. Um, 
the subgroup that did do it, they're re-releasing it on Blu-ray. With the groggy sub. Yeah, yeah. with groggy sub. I will, re- I will re-watch it for that. Yeah, in which they do it like five episodes of Batch, so so far... I Send me a link to those. I think they have like 15 episodes done now. Okay, okay. ETU and I are watching Kuga. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, basically Emu clicks in, if they're all dead... I must be. I'm also dead, then love- another Agito clicks in, it's like... No, you're alive. No, no, we're but, all dead. no. Before that, I like the line Curie said, where he's like, "Wait, you're dead? I told you to carry to carry on my my work. What the fuck did you do? <laughs> the fuck you doing, man? I'm just like, come oh. on, man. But yeah, it, honestly, in this first episode, like another Agito is being an asshole. Well, like, he he was like, pretty, I have he has his reasons. Like, I know based, based on the circumstances, that's what any logical. But, but person But I feel would like he was to. being a bit too harsh on Emu, and he should have like let's, stopped. Let's, and, like, let's stop and remember that he was kind of an asshole in Agito as I, well. Honestly, yeah, he just randomly showed up, be like, "Hey, I'm gonna kick your been, ass." It's he been just seven years since I watched up. Agito. I barely remember. And then they have Gil show up and like go his final form and. Like, I, but that's Agito's that ass. said, Agito being a show from 2001, uh, the guy who played Kino has actually aged pretty well. He I doesn't look much older. I looked up the plot of Agito and I couldn't even figure out what it was about from the it, plot. It's about, the it's, the a, writers it's about punching God in the face. And then Isn't finishing off kind of God by writer, writer kicking him. And it was the first show that was written by one writer, I can't remember, but he also did Fies and Kiva, and there are so many fucking tropes that he does with writers. Those are all shows I like. In which there's actually a blog indicating all those tropes. All the things that have in common between the series oh, and the series. Within sad. those shows. Well, Gun and Robochi wrote two shows that both end with the exact same plot twist. So. That is true. But one's in America. And one's live action. <laughs> and which I, showed, I actually showed my coworker. I'm like, Oh, you know Gannon Rabuji, right? He's like, yeah, I love his work. Oh, you should watch Guy. I didn't mention anything that it was live action or it was a Common Rider series. Show him the opening. Not for me. Fuck you. Hey, hey guys. If, if there was like a, an exit version of Gannon Rabuji, would he be Genmurobuchi? You get the blanket. <laughs> Sleep! And <laughs> I, push, I push Ichi out a window. <laughs> When the, there's no window in our studio. Oh, there will be one after I push Ichi through it. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Joke's on you, then we don't have air conditioning anymore. Okay, I'm fine with that. <laughs> well, I fixed the basement. Tigger, I don't have a basement. You do now. <laughs> By the way, during episode one, there's one point, There's one of the times when Kino henshins into another Agito, where like it's a far away shot, and... He's, like, got this really awkward stance going on where he's, like, slightly crouched like he's trying to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> ah, another Agito! I thought this guy was supposed to be dignified. What no, the fuck? But when having another Agito there, you do realize, like, you do see, like, the progression of, like, how Heisei era common Riders are nowadays. Like, you have another Agito. Just hand movements, henshin, done. He, he's the only one of these guys who doesn't have, like, a huge fucking song and dance no, with their hands No, and then, we, and then you got Blade, which started doing the whole, like, sound thing. Like, Standby chime. Yeah, like, turn up. He transforms. Then you get Baron and Malika, who heavily, like... Just music for days. Yeah, music. And then you have X-Aid, which is this... Mighty jump, mighty kick, mighty, mighty up, action. Fuck. Yes! Uh, and no, he's pink you want, and spiky haired and fucking way the fuck and out if there. If you want to talk over the top quickly, just fucking Heisei uh, show, show movie. Just just fucking decade fives and then Coda in the middle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. He's oh. like, Bleh! how you can spot a protagonist. <laughs> Two Dakotas, like, wacky waving arm and flail arm flailing henshin. <laughs> wacky waving flail arm flailing henshin. Wacky waving flail arm flailing henshin. But no. The one thing this mo- this series didn't do that I was hoping was just another Agito just to look at Eggs attention and go, what the fuck? No, yeah, I want him to just like see him like as X8 and just be like, is this, is what this who we are, are now? Yeah, no, no, no one made a joke about his eyes or his... Yeah, so, just, just like he looks over, there's Takashi Hongo. I don't know. If Kamara Ichigo saw X8, to quote the legendary Robin Williams, what the fuck is this shit? No, Shotaro Ishimori came back to life. What the fuck is this shit? Just Shotaro Ishimori, Kinokaru, Takashi Hongo, all just like, why? Fuck it, we're doing bugs again. So, <laughs> wait, what? That's right. I'm in charge. All right, 
What if, We're doing what if, bugs. What if next day was just like something Ishinomori secretly had? Like they just found like like a uh, like a in the floorboards or something, just like old concept art for riders, and like they totally just picked it up and just there's X8 right there, level oh one. They're god. like, they're like, oh my god, a video game theme ride that's genius, yeah. Ishinomori. One of the last projects that Shotaro Ishinomori worked on was actually released. You want to know what it was called? Kuga. No, Kamari uh, Hibiki. Uh, yeah, that was intended. He. Ten- I don't know the full details, but apparently he did work on something close to it or something. Yeah. You know who would have been <clears throat> fucking cool to have instead of like another Agito for me personally? Should have had Zanky. Zanky would have been so cool. That would have been cool. I loved Zanky. Zanky. You see, his fucking death was super tragic because it was like foreshadowed heavily early in Hibiki. Oh, yeah. So it's like if you keep transforming, you're gonna die. No, so stop no. it! <laughs> I wish Kuga was in this. That way my theory can be confirmed that he dies at the end of his show. That would have been neat if they like showed a bunch of writers whose deaths were ambiguous. Just to like confirm stuff like that. Just Black Condor's there. Hey guys, oh, oh shit, this is Rider thing. Okay, I'm gonna Bye. Uh, <laughs> quickly make quick, it back to Go Rider. So like, I know, he like... Can we have a Sentai super, version of super, this? No. So, where like, they become riders? So Emu's like all freaking out or whatever like that, and then like he, they all like transform in front of him or something like that. But then like you see, even see like Kira, he's transformed his laser and he's like staring like really angrily at him. But then later on when like another Agito is attacking uh, Emu, you just see like Kira jump out. He's like, no, don't like the why are you like no! standing there? Why are you like standing there angrily looking at him earlier? <laughs> So, like, this so, is really sense. So, pretty much episode one ends with them discovering that Emu still has his reflection, whereas all the dead guys do not. Because Which means goals. he is alive! He's alive! <laughs> does this how God feels like? No, wait, we can't say anything. What does God want with a starship? <laughs> so, episode two starts, and, like, Exit gets, like, punted out of the building, and all of a sudden he's in Robots Action Gamer level three. Because fuck it. Yeah, I was wondering about that. I really didn't like that, but this is me, Mr. Boat Mechanics. I just found a meme where it's like, XA level 3, Spongebob, more power, Mighty Brothers, more power, level 99, maximum power! <laughs> Metabots, more power. Yeah. More power. I miss Metabots. I love, I want to think it of level 3 XA, because I just love, like, the red. Ichi wants to figure out some X, or, or laser level 3. Yes, thanks. Everyone knows this. Everyone oh. wants level threes. Uh, oh yeah, I do. But I want to fucking get him a sports gamer. Mm-hmm. It'd be cool if they put out like Exade Sports Gamer. Oh, sports Action cool. Gamer Level Three is the full name of the, the form. Mm-hmm. Uh, so episode two, uh, Laser stops another Agito from kicking him who's ass. Blade stops them all from fighting, and then we get Geisha Poppy again. And, like, while they're going on about the fact that Exit still has re- reflection, we were all making, like, mirror world jokes. Just, hey, you want dead riders? Bring out the entire cast of Ryuki! <laughs> Through the mirror! I would have Well... They had Oja earlier, why couldn't they just exactly. have come back? Be like, hey, guys. Alright, they did kill Odin. <laughs> well, Odin technically, you know, crashed. That's true. Like, he glitched out of the game. Yeah. He's like, oh... You went. So they then they then proceed to have an AA meeting, another Agito meeting. Uh, <laughs> Ag- Agito's anonymous. <laughs> Hi, my name's my, my name's, my name's Kino. My name's Kino Kaoru, and I'm an Agito. Hi, Hi Kino. Kino. Oh my god, I'm a doctor. <laughs> Just. Like that joke was on the fly last night. It wasn't, was wasn't like, one of the, the was, wasn't one of the chosen people to be Agito. Didn't they like transform, but it was too much, so they died from it. I think so. Uh, yeah, geez. yeah, Agito's sister. Yeah. Oh yeah, Fuck. she actually spoilers. Suicide. Of course, it was a girl. Spoilers for a show from two thousand one. <laughs> those uh, that, that moment. You'll piss off the internet. Oh no! I spoiled the show that came out in two thousand one. Hey, Ag- Agito. Punches. Come at us, internet! Hey, Agito punches God in the face, the end. Yeah, that's pretty much the climax. <laughs> ah! Fuck you. He punches God in the face. Yep. Yeah. So then, like, Emu runs off and hides, and then, like, uh, 
Blade decides to, like, go talk to him, and he's like, oh, no, I, like, I'm not here to do anything to you, man. Like, I, I believe that, like, we gotta figure this shit out. And then, like, Kaido and uh, Yoko have, like, some moments or whatever like that. Yeah, they, even, like, Kaido's yeah, so much of an shit. asshole that he doesn't even want to, like, s say his real name at first. He's yeah. just like, I'm Comrade Baron. I, 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 I mentioned that earlier. Yeah, but okay. the thing is, like, I don't know if it's odd with you, odd with you guys, mm -hmm. but I think we only should have gotten, like, one of the guy riders and someone else like get Zanki. Yeah, no, but, but it, it is that you know what? You know how you mentioned that earlier they could have uh we could have had Kuga as like a dead rider? Yeah. He could have been here instead of Baron. Because he's red. Yeah, that is true. But basically Baron's like either one could have worked. Like, because like you they could, could have they mentioned could, they one could, or the other. They couldn't replace Yoko because what other pink riders have died? Tom Rider Shuki. Raya. Shuki was or Shuki wasn't pink. They were, she was white and red. Oh yeah, fair enough. But yeah. yes, Raya. Raya. But we have to have a female on the team. That Fog. because <laughs> Go Ranger, yeah, not pink. No, no, yeah, because you know, Go Ranger, four guys, one chick. Oh god, imagine. Can we the also get the pun with days. Momo. No, don't. Sorry. We also get the pun with Momo because Momo means peach. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, yeah. the Mo joke. Momo, Momo Ranger, Mido Ranger, Ki Ranger, Al Ranger, Oka Ranger. The one hardcore guy, and the rest are normal. Good instructed. Good instructed. <laughs> Someone get me a horse. <laughs> Someone get me a hawk. Oh, thank you so much. So, Emu pretty much goes like perfect puzzle in his own head and figures out that he's in a game no, world. You could say he went top gear. Ooh. He went Sherlock. He went to his mind palace. <laughs> Does that mean he's a, is a shadow Emu? Persona joke. Oh, Shadow Emu. Summer movie confirmed. Wait, Pilates Shadow Emu. Kind of is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's oh, all God. connected. It's all connected. Can we have that Prince of Egypt song with Pilates and Emu? Oh, my God. What that you were actually... my brother. How could you have done to make me so? How could you save me? No, wrong song. I made my mistakes. Got no way to run. That's so, yeah. not the KO meme, but it's on. like about a drunk driver dying. I know. So it's it, about like awareness. So yeah, it's they just figure really, out, really, really corny. They figure out that it's a game world, and then they all step out outside again, and now it's winter. Yep, like, and next I know level. why there's snow there. <laughs> that show you know, the blood. We filmed it in February because February snow. Holy fuck! Someone actually made complete decade look better. Mm -hmm. What? Look at that. Why couldn't we have that in the show? It's like halfway between Decade Complete and Ghost Heisei Damashi. Yeah. Send that to Anthony I, and I'll put it in the video. I like that better. Um, but yeah, so this is where we meet Totema, a.k.a. Black Cross King Turbo fucking HD Remix. Did you just say King Turbo? Turbotastic. Uh, yeah. Uh, and, and as you guys suspected, he is in fact voiced by the guy who did Ninja Man and Frankie. Oh, it was. Yeah, I thought so. I looked him up. I looked I'm like him listening up. to it. I'm just like, is that Frankie? And Ninja Man. Ninja Man. I, I love Ninja Man. I, I love hope, Ninja Man. I hope we get a legacy figure of Ninja. That would be amazing. Yeah, just a legacy Ninja Ninja, ninja Resort. Yeah. Uh, so all six riders just fucking mob rush him, and it's hilarious. Yep. Again with the sword on line joke. All right, everybody, with the plan. Every person forms. <laughs> And I just love how, like, they all do their rider kicks at him, and then Laser, like, slips afterwards. Oh, shit, I slipped. Then he regenerates. Damn it, Kyria, this is what happens when you slip. Now we gotta fight him again. Yeah. But then, as they're about to charge at him again, Ken Blade attacks Emu. And, and fucking stabs him! And yeah, like, really this hard. Flash forward vision prophecy that he had in part one. Yeah, stab him and then you just see like this hole in his gut and then he just starts like gushing blood out and Maybe then the just snow, well, I'm like course. holy shit. Emu gets no. stabbed and injured a lot uh, in I, all these side I, specials. I, I, <laughs> because the writers fucking hate him. Okay. Maybe. So, Fuck chosen so ones. So then we get revealed something which I fucking fanboyed so which hard on. I fucking hate. S yeah. So we yeah. found out that the blade that we've been like seeing this entire time is not actually him, but it was none other than my man Dan Kuroto. I'm so happy. And you and know, and you know the what? The signs were there too because like you saw like yeah. Kazuma just like starting to like 
be all like wide eyed and then he got, no, got into Emu's face and he's like, like and he's like tilting his head and, and the, no and the way he was talking yeah. I'm like that reminds me of Dan. Also the fact that he bled normal blood, not yeah. undead blood. That's true. He didn't bleed silly straight. Um, but yeah, you know what? I actually really really like this idea because mm. think about it. Dan is the kind of man who would being being such a criminal mastermind, the game master that he is. It makes perfect sense that he'll have a plan in place to revive himself if he dies, and what better way to do that through a fucking video game? Gar wants to say something. Sorry, I'm eating something good. Are you okay? Yeah, perfect, perfect plan. <laughs> you know how I said earlier that I had a counter-argument for this? Mm-hmm. Well, here's my counter-argument. Okay. Okay, it's fine when you have Dan as the villain of this. But it shouldn't be. Okay. You have previous... You have old actors from the past, like from older shows, coming back and re- being writers again. hmm So, it makes sense for them to have, you know... Correspond- villain, corresponding villains? Like, villains from, the, from like the past series. In which it should have been, even though it's, you know, done to death now... It should have been Tsukasa, a.k.a. Common Rider Kaiza, as the villain. Yeah. You said Tsukasa, you mean Kaiza. Yeah, sir. I guess so. It, it should have been... I feel like... Uh, no, but they were in a video game, so it makes sense that yeah, like, it was Gemu. It, it, why did it have to be a video game? Like, Emu... Because it's a video game-based yeah, but, show. Yeah, but Emu could have been like, oh, so this isn't a video game? No, this is the spirit realm or something. In which, you know... Other dead riders show up like 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 yeah. suit only like Here, Nega Dano. Here's the thing. I feel, Dark Kiva. I feel like we've had plenty. Ryuga. We've had plenty of movies where like the dead actually come back. Like, no, white, I, I feel like this white is, wizard. I feel like this is different enough of a flavor of quote unquote coming back to life that it makes it fresh and interesting. Hell, that's what the Heisei show movie was about. It was exactly. literally let's bring the dead back. Let's flip so the can, dead and the living. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. I will actually disagree with you and say yeah, that I too. like this uh, approach. It could have been a bit better if we had like older actors re- portray the villains again. I I will I will agree that having Dan be the only real villain of this kind of weak. He should have like brought other villain riders. Like, that would have been cool. Like if he's able to bring back villain like you know ri- old riders, why he should have. It's because he's an egotistical asshole and doesn't want to share the glory of being the villain. Exactly. But it wouldn't, it couldn't have hurt to have a couple of cameo villains. But that, just, you know, it doesn't help that, shockingly enough, Ninja Turtles did this first. It did. In Ninja Turtles: Back to the Sewers, we find out that Utron Shredder copied himself into the internet. <laughs> that way. Like, he can be brought back to life in case anything happens to New, him. Newsflash, keeping mental backups of yourself in order to serve other purposes is a trope that's been pretty classic. I mean, in one of the Bleach, Lock, in one name, of the Bleach movies, uh, fucking Mayuri Kurtsuchi, he literally copied his own brain in case something happened to him. Krim Steinbelt did it. Yeah, that's there right. you go. He backed himself up into a belt. Oh, hell, have Gold Drive in this. Oh, As the I would have loved Bono and Duke to be in this. I would have been just so up, happy. Up exactly! Dan. Like that been, art we saw. Yeah! Like, oh, that would have been perfect! Like, Dan's like, oh, I looked into the cop... Like, have this connected with Heisei Generations. Be like, I looked into the past of Common Riders, and I found out I'm not alone. Snaps yeah, be- his fingers. Because and, like, he, all we, the we know he has access to that data because he made the Legend Rider gashes. Like, you could have Gold Drive, White Wizard, Duke, Ryuga... Okay, Probably not Ryuga. Kaiza. <laughs> why not Ryuga? Yeah, yeah be, Ryuga, sure, why not? Hell. Fuck it, Ryuga. I feel like this could be... I feel like this idea that we were talking about now could be another x movie. Maybe even the x Summer movie. Like, like, it should have been all the war of who who are truly... Like, who truly deserves to die as a common Rider. But no, instead, Gemu just said, Hey, I'm gonna take this guy who I made, and I'm gonna make him me. And we got this, like, Gemu God It just gets so dumb. Mashup for him. So, Which, b- before we talk about what happens afterwards, so... Let's talk about the real world. Yeah, I was I was literally about to go into that. So, we, we get we, we get some explanations about what's going on. It turns out that Emu has been downloaded into the game world of 
this game that Dan has. By this the way, they they don't ever tumor they don't ever explain how this console and game got into the CR office. It looks like, like a GameCube. Like yeah, it looks like a bootleg GameCube. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and call it the Genmu Cube. Well, what's with the, the weird Cube. black tumor that the GameCube? Well, yeah, uh, and a, and if we're to go by what we're seeing, it looks like the name of the game is uncontrollable. By the way, I thought it was cool that the Genmu Cube is apparently like based on like modular hardware because it's got USB ports for controller ports. <laughs> so it's like hey, open, open source hardware. Plug hey, any controller into it. Hey, Dan might be an evil mastermind, but at least he keeps up with modern age. He's behind the Ouya. <laughs> it's not even USB three. What a scrub. <laughs> <laughs> it's not USB 3, it's not USB Type-C, what is this bullshit? Have USB right? Type-C. Oh, fuck, that would have been... Now I want... Okay, just a side note. Now I want to see Conrad Arc versus Conrad J. That, well, J's bigger. Well, J is uh, up, bigger. Up Arc to his size. Sure. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, the, the game that they're playing is called Uncontrollable, and Dan has pretty much... Maxed out the parameters of Totema in it so that the game is unbeatable, simply for the purpose of having them die over and over and harvesting their despair, which will somehow fuel his resurrection. That's fucking. Despair because what power. is Ryder if not a show about quantifying human feelings into a fucking it's energy source? And so I, ha dumb. I have to just say, it is, but it's perfect for Cover. Yeah. Dan, Dan just continued to just be, like. So good with the crazy, <clears throat> well, like, like the, it was fucking crazy amazing man. watching him just being all like super just maniacal and laughing like hysterically. Even when just, he was in the form of Blade, it was just like that. No one except Dan. Makes yeah, I'm face. like, I because like you saw him like doing all this shit as Blade, and I'm just like, that seems like Dan. He gets all wide eyed and laughs really creepy. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, like, oh my god, I'm like that's oh, fucking Dan. Oh, I, I just thought of something. Huh? Just made Dan's plan completely useless. Okay. What's Dan's plan? To harvest their to despair the to fuel his resurrection. So he is technically Dather right now. Sure. Yeah. Yep. What can you use Dather for? Copying? Lots of stuff. <laughs> exactly. You can go into the internet. You can hack. He's trying to become Inframon. <gasps> But no, oh he wants God. to resurrect himself so that he can have a physical body. Dan, well, you do realize you can do more let's, let's, in let's, zeros and ones let's, than let's, blood. Let's put it on the record that he never officially stated that he wanted to revive his physical body. He just wanted to be revived. So for all we know, he was planning on becoming a fully revived digital being. Which I think would have been awesome, because then we get into Digimon the movie territory. Yep. And then we get into Digimon our war game. Yeah. In which if we you, made a summer wars. Yeah, yeah, summer wars. If you haven't watched Summer Wars or Digimon or War Game or even Digimon the movie, because there's we all, some footage from it in there. Yeah, there's a, there's a ton of footage. Go watch all the all three of those movies. They're good. Yep. So well, aside from one. Digimon the movie, there's some flaws in it. But yeah, there's just a few. <laughs> uh, just, a, just a few. I thought it was really interesting that the 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 series chose Kazuma to be like. Oh, the one that betrays them. Because if you think about it, Comrade Blade had plenty of treachery going on. Yeah, it's a, yeah. Why are you just standing there watching? No, it's like what's going on? It's like That's think like of this. Like really think of it. You have Garen who who betrays Blade. You have Lengel. 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 Yeah, Lengel betray everyone. You have Hajime betray everyone halfway through the series. Lengel comes back. Garen betrays everyone at the end, and then Blade betray. Then. Blade betrays his friends in the end. Well, I would quantify more that as Comrade Blade, more like Comrade Betrayed. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Come in later. Hashtag, hashtag Comrade Rider card captors. Because it's Good. legit the same plot. Comrade Rider card captors. We gotta captured. find monsters and we gotta seal them in cards. But yeah, the, it's the, the same of the plot, Ichi. I know. So right. Now we want mashup blade footage with the card captors dub opening. And this mighty book was open, the powers were set free. Secrets but when some board. jackass was a giant They're dick, the monsters were set free. Okay. Is that what happened? Come and ride the... Okay, okay, okay. But yeah. A riding adventure, so, come and ride the... Alright, guard! Come so, and so, ride the... Shut up. 
So the idea is Emma gets stabbed and killed every playthrough of Uncontrollable, which we're, that, that sucks. But apparently this is Dan's <laughs> plan to have him like die and reset the game to keep doing it over and over. And that's when he pulls out the "Oh, you get no continues" line, and Even I thought that was really he poignant. Keeps coming that's not how back. continues. Work. Uh, well, it's it, it's kind of a subjective matter because if he had a continue, he'd like revive with his memories, and like everyone would be exactly where they were. But this is sort of like a resetting the game. Yeah, this but is Emu's, like a roguelike. Emu, yeah, Emu still manages to like through plot convenience bullshit his way through keeping his memories intact, but also like. Through in a previous playthrough, left himself the secret code that told him that Dan was the mastermind. Yep, I love that. That was so oh. fucking dumb. And it was no. just like a dog and Rafa. The, the, the number the, thing. Yeah, yeah. And the joke that we were making, or at least I was making, you know why Emu keeps losing his memories? Because the Genmu Cube doesn't have a memory card. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the thing. There was a memory card in the Anta GameCube. Well, I thought like, one came with Animal Crossing. So, sorry, when you so actually dead. buy a GameCube, it legit doesn't come with a memory card. It's a stored memory. It's not a GameCube, it's an Ouya. You get the point. Anyways, I know, anyways, I know, I know you, Gar, personally, I know you hate my, like, super over fanboyism for Genmu, but I was very, very happy for him to be in this, just because I love, I love the character, I love his actor and how he portrays the character, and he just... He does a fucking fantastic job portraying such an evil dude. And it's just great a, seeing him. Isn't he a YouTuber? Oh, he's a pharmacist. Yeah, no, he does the YouTube uh, channel with his brother. Oh, okay. I watched him. He's it's fucking funny. Yeah, next you're gonna tell me, you know, that's a Raven's getting a sequel. Oh wait. It is. Uh, what? Yeah? yeah. It's about his dot. It's about her daughter that's fucking psychic. Kill me! No, what? You don't like that's a Raven? But no. And there's what? no Corey. Probably living at the White House still. There's no best anime. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about the core in the house reeves. That core in the house. Are you mad? When's Young Justice season he, three? He's, he's officially the candidate. No, it never happened. No, it is happening. Because girls watched it, and that's bad. I guess. Fuck everyone. No, it's because oh, the toys aren't doing well. Toys are shit. Hell, they're fucking they're rebooting reboot. It's gonna be a live action series. Yeah, it's that gonna be fully makes sense. I need more pop. Want me to get you another pop? No. You might, you might as well like fan, fanboy about fucking gig. I'm moving. Anyways, on. part three kicks oh, on, God. and actual Kazuma hacks his way into uncontrollable because he's a fucking undead. And fuck you. No, and it's like, <laughs> oh, or how can we believe this guy? Pricks his finger. It's I, silly I'm green. You're red. It ain't easy bleeding green. And then this <laughs> awesome, awesome thing where they're like, "Oh, you can't destroy this world," and then just they the world did. starts falling the, apart. And it's like, it, how's that happening? In places, Kazuma like, explodes the Go Rider balloons into fucking cards. Cause fuck you. And then Blaze is like. Oh, I'm a uh, I'm, I'm a Joker, so a Joker undead. I'm the last one, and when I'm the last one, that means the world gets destroyed. I didn't know that was a thing, so that was well, a little bit confusing. Is that like a thing he can just turn on and off? Because like everyone yeah, was fine a... until he decided to walk in and just go. Now your game's over. Yeah, it's, game it's over. It's kind of hard to explain because I thought it was only when both Hajime and Ka Kazuma were together. I when don't know. that would start. I don't know. I feel like they played hooky with their own rules just to be slightly less spoilery about Bell, this continuity, you need a question. How does Kyria have belt and weapons? How do any of them have belts and weapons? They're data. I was going to say, all these quote-unquote dead riders might just be game avatars. In which that, that show brought back more villain riders. That's well, we have Black Cross King. Yeah. Turbo HD remix. There you go. Did you just say King Turbo? We did this joke already. Oh, wait. Fantastic. <laughs> Again. Sorry, guys. But yeah, in which they so, fight. So Dan reveals himself, and he's got a f sharp new white suit and freshly coiffed hair. Because I guess there's good fucking men's suit services in the fucking afterlife. He went to Shampoo. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm really messing this up. There's this really creepy scene where Dan licks <laughs> Emu's blood off his head. Oh, hand. my what God. I saw that, and I'm what just like... Pressing Yoko's face for no reason. Oh, oh yeah, he's doing that too, and like Yoko's just like, oh my god. Only one man gets to do that, and it's not you. It's Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Zach? Come, Come right around, Uncle. Uncle. 
yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. His name is. His name is just Zach. We never get a last yeah. name. It's just He's Zach. Like Not, which is really weird when we have other characters' last names. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So not even in his own side story, we no. get his last name. No. Nope. He's nope. Zach. He's Dick. a Lego maniac. Zach. Uh, yeah. So my favorite part about this whole thing is just the fact that Laser actually manages to get revenge on Genmu in this. And I will, I will say it was, it was very, very fucking cool to see like how that all happened with Laser and Genmu at the end. But I am still sad that like Gavin yeah, lost. But I knew I I knew it was gonna, gonna happen because anyway. he's a rider villain and rider villains never win, so Yeah. So uh so Genmu uses Totema to power up and gets a form that according to the wiki is called Common Rider Totema Genmu with a with a hyphen in there. Uh, the 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 nickname that I came up for it before I looked it up, since the name of the game is uncontrollable, what I named that form was Kamen Rider Genmu Uncontrollable Zombie Gamer, which I thought was pretty cool. There you go. But that's just my nickname. Uncontrollable Zombie Gamer. Like, the form was, like, I thought it was a bit too much, but, for like, I, 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 it's eggs. more so, I get it for how Dan's personality is, because he has a huge god complex, so, sure, it's... So, it's, yeah, his term, final form is yeah, a fucking god! Yes, but in terms of it ruined the already awesome Gemu zombie suit. So. I, I, I feel like he should have had a new form. Yes, Like, an I agree. actual god form. Like, or make it, like, make the... Reverse the colors, make it, like, the, the suit black, and then, like, everything else white. Like, that would have been cool. Yeah, maybe. So, uh... I want to see that. The six riders, including Exade, who goes level 99, face down against him, and this is a hilarious shot of Exade, level 99, just flying around, punching. Was that what that was? Was it Exade? <laughs> yeah. Because I was wondering, who's flying? And he's like, it's like, it's just like, meow, meow. Um, and then, because this happens after Cho's superhero Tyson... Exade just has the Go Rider cards on him and pulls them out of his ass. I was wondering what the heck was going well, on. Well, he, he probably got them in he, the movie. Yeah, that's would safe to assume he got what? because they, the the, the Go Riders do happen in the movie, yeah, I but they're this was before her, but they're there. used by Emu's team in the tournament, which is why I was worried that it wasn't actually these dead characters using them. But it turns out that I was right and wrong. It's both. Uh, okay, I just need to. Okay, what's going on? Imagine pillow. Imagine body pillow. They're pillows. imagine they're Daki Makura. <laughs> oh my gosh, but they're not even looking like they're lying down. Is there a Sieg like one? In case Orotaro's actually seduced. In which, it, is there a Sieg one? Uh, not that I know. That's fucking disgraceful. Ah! De no, there needs to be a Deneb one. <laughs> Holding chocolates. Deneb! Cody! Deneb! Anyways. Sorry, but yeah, they all fight Genmu in which... Somehow they all magically. No, but it's super weird, like hearing Kaido like talking like a Sentai leader. Yeah, so and I'm just like, oh no, my no, god. No, no, we need to question this. This mini series is called Common Sentai Go Rider. Yes. And the titular forms don't appear until halfway through the last episode. In the last ten minutes of the of this. And yet they were still on screen about as long, maybe longer than the Power Rangers in the Lionsgate oh, movie. No, it was shorter. It well, was like way shorter. Approximately, right? considering the scale of the series. No, you know what I mean? It's way shorter. Anyways. But yeah. In which. But yes, like uh, Lane was saying, it's really, really. Even though Kaito was the leader of Team Baron, it is still beyond jarring to see him quote unquote lead a team of superheroes. Yeah, because he's always and, been the badass yeah, loner. Yeah, but guys, remember, he led the armored riders to fight the Overlord when it, when he invaded their. But he didn't, city. like, actually, like, yeah, formation! No, he legit, like, alright, everyone, form a circle. Eh. It's still weird. It's still out of Kaito's character. Oh, what's to be, no, to be like, oh, and be like a little... Uh, oh, yeah, so basically, Kaido becomes Aka Rider, uh, Kazuma becomes Our Rider, Kiryu becomes Key Rider, Hino becomes Mido Rider, and Yoko becomes Momo Rider. Yeah. In which they become Kamen Sentai Goraida. Yeah. Where are my fucking figure arts? But if they make figure arts of them, I will bitch and complain because it's like, you can make these, but you can't release the other four Go Rangers. All right. So now that we're talking about them, let's talk about the designs. So I love while, them. I, while I completely 
200% understand the purpose of them and what they were going for. I do not like them. Wow. They, they suck. They're... I was not... I'm not a fan of a lot of the show designs, and I don't like these. They're okay. Like, I do enjoy them. I it's love them. just... My only gripe is with Mido, Mido Rider, because it was... It's legit just the common Rider Ichigo helmet. It, it, the color tone wise, it's like halfway between Ichigo and Sky Rider. Yeah. In which I don't mind these, it's just. Eh. It's. No, you know what the biggest problem is? Common Rider Ichigo's helmet is not something that should be shared between five members, especially when one of them is female. Yeah, and like, even with the original Go Ranger team, they all had like their own special, like, like their own special. Like they were different helmets. enough. Yeah. In which I personally love the Go Ranger outfits. In which I would love to have a full figure art team. Even no, I, I fully, fully love what they did with uh, with the Go Riders. And I love the Sentai Rider mashup. I like that they all have different colored helmets. Hell, Akka Rider has fucking yellow eyes and a yellow Because chest the plate. rest of his suit is red, so yeah. the, his eyes and chest had their yellow, and, and then everyone else's well, eyes yeah. and chest are red. different colored belts. It's, it's like a Sentai trope in which basically... Everyone's the same except red. No, yellow. Sometimes with like their designs, they have to change the yellow ranger suit a bit. Like in Turbo Ranger, all of them had white on their chest with yellow... With like yellow highlights. Oh, because yellow is bright team. enough. That yeah, it's, but it's since yellow is the same, they changed his to black. Yeah, it's 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 or another, another, black. Exam, another Earth. example. Another example would be Shiro Ninja. Everyone's accents were white, but Shiro Ninjas were pink. Yeah. Anyways, but yeah, Emily, they, what do you think of the Go Riders? The Go Riders. Um, I definitely see that their designs are kind of a mishmash. Yeah, but they're designed to be like a throwback, so. It makes sense that they're like that, and they're... Honestly, the thing about them was that the way they transformed was really confusing, because uh, apparently that they get the cards in the movies. So. Yeah. So I don't know how that happened, and it was sort of like, okay, what happened? And they're a weapon, too. Like, they have this giant gun they just summoned. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my Go God. Rider Bazooka. Bazooka. so cool. Oh. Featuring Exade! Yeah, that was pretty funny. So it just seems completely random in a lot of cases, and they also seem to change their personalities when they transform. That is true. Like He's, I said, it's really jarring seeing the, Kaito lead them. No, the There's funny thing. There's really a reason for them to be like that. <laughs> no, the funny thing is that you know, their main weapon, the Go Rider Bazooka, isn't even theirs. It's it's straight up just the actual Go Ranger Bazooka. No, oh, no Go Ranger. The whole ball thing that they did is what the Go Rangers used oh, to. Oh yeah, do. yeah. Oh no, I could, I could tell that they were obviously they're pulling their techniques from Go Ranger. The Bazooka thing. Is from the Go Kaiser Go Sager team up movie, where all forty five Super Sentai teams use their powers together to create the Super Sentai Bazooka, <laughs> which is the exact same thing, but instead of firing their logos, it fires a beam. Yep. Was it at least like different colored, or was no, it the same color? No, it's the exact wow. same. We just had the prop lying around and said, "Eh, it no was one at, will notice." It was at the Hero Museum. It's close down. No one watched Go Sager. They won't notice. <laughs> oh, man. That, that, no, that crossover will always be my favorite Super Sentai fan, period. Yeah, but the funny thing is when they were passing around the Go Rider ball, Exit is all, hey, hey, hey guys, pass, 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 me, me, I'm open. Oh, me, me, I want it, I want it. And then Kaido's like, That's fine, it. fucking take it. Ever. Really? Hey. And then he fucking jack shots it. I love take. it. Jump. Bend okay. it like him. <laughs> Bend, <laughs> Bend it like Exade. Oh, also, like, I loved when Dan henching into Gemu, he just made, like, the most fucked up oh, zombie yeah. face ever. He, he, <laughs> it even did, like, the fisheye lens on him. Yeah, like. yeah. Just, oh! oh! yeah, and then the suits are magically gone. Well, all right, that was pointless. Cause fuck it, and everyone accepted their deaths, and like even Dan's like yelling at them, like, "Oh, but I thought you all wanted to be alive and stuff." And even like Laser just like Carrie just goes up to him, and he's just like, "Nah, fuck you." But yeah, Gemu uh, tries I, to kill him. Gemu tries to kill them with a giant black hole, and then they just uh, push him in it. That was fucking awesome. I, I and, want... and Emu was so sad. Like they were trying to like pull him away or whatever. Like that. Well, like, but basically, it's like since like, Cosma. Oh. And 
and are still alive, technically. They have to escape. Like, they gotta leave. Yeah, or and, they and will like, be Blade's, Blade's, Or they'll, like, vanish. And, they Bla- and Blade's trying to, like, pull Emu away or whatever, and Emu's just like, No, carry on! Like, I, you I have actually, to do this! I actually felt super sad, but it was so amazing watching Kyria, like get his revenge and his redemption and sacrifice himself yeah, all at no. the same time. You know what would have made it a bit better? Mm-hmm. If it, if, like, it cut to a silhouette where it's, like, all black and you see Emu, actual, like, actual Emu, like, sad and, like, it turns to Kyria and, like, all the other riders, like, actually in their, like, non, like, civilian outfits pushing Gemu out. Yeah. And they're all just, like, nodding at Emu knowing it's, like, like we accept cool. this. Yeah. Like, and they did. It was actually really, really touching, especially if you've seen all the shows that these guys are from and you know all their characters and just seeing this be the close to all their character arcs. Yep. Oh, so good. So good. They've all like even they mentioned like they've all accepted death. Yep. So now it's time to die again. Sadly. You where took that do, in a weird direction? Where do the I wanna make a Guardians 2 reference, but I can't it's okay, I'll close my ears. No, no, the people listening won't want to. Yeah, I, I won't. So I'll, it, I'll save it for next week. So, whereas there's plot rain, this special ends with happiness snow. <laughs> with sorrow snow. No, and what's great is like they like they get back or whatever, and like there's some they kids don't, around. They don't explain how Cosma and Emu, you know, leave the game. It's they just, just do. They just um, do. It explodes so, and they like... And the thing, but maybe they use the, the virtual goggles. One thing that bugs me a bit. Is that once that once that whole entire scene's gone, Cosmo's just never to be seen again. It's like, oh okay, N- no send off or anything. He's he's got to go bug uh, Batsuru or decade. Well, what I no, thought, no, it's like what well, we do. Bala shows up. Ah oh, shit, I gotta go. Well, what I thought I was ex- what I thought was extremely adorable though was that like there's these kids that run up to uh, Emu and they all have like balloons that are the go rider colors and then yeah. one of the kids hands emu the yellow balloon and, he did, and they, no and what was really awesome was you see emu just holding the balloon and then he just like looks at it and i was just like oh he's thinking about carrier like, oh yeah so Unless sweet the only one who thought that it was gonna pan to the kids and they were gonna be like resurrected versions of the riders, <laughs> like so. reincarnated oh yeah, right like, i remember thumbnail we were supposed to yeah, do yeah, oh yeah we're gonna no, have like okay. Kyria like like photo fun around on the balloon yeah just <laughs> like his face is like yeah. so basically the wallpaper for the episode will be like the go rider thing with full tour yeah but, no, no, I can put it all in. But like the, the thumbnail. yeah, the thumbnail will be like <laughs> Emu looking at the balloon with Kira's face. face on it. Just, but it has to be the one with the cup on his face. Like, or, <laughs> what? You know how we made the joke with like Kira has the cup. Oh over yeah, his mouth? just that. I face. remember that. I could just chop a cup over his face, whatever. <laughs> Anyway, so that was Common Sentai Go Rider. And honestly, it was it was really good. I loved it. It could have been a bit better. I, I got. But some, I, I still enjoy it for what it is. Yeah, um, I loved it just because I got a more bit more Genmu, and I am getting more Genmu in the show, which makes me happy. So I just it, it's great when like and like Ichi was happy too because like he got here more curious so. But I, I really enjoyed Go Ride. That was In good. which I was happy since, <clears throat> like, I'm not. X A wasn't really doing it for me, but all the other actors were. Mm-hmm. So which like seeing all of them back kind of helped, like kind of worked as well. Yeah, it was it was more about them and less about X A. Honestly, X A yeah. was just there to like witness all this happening. Because he's the current season. Yeah. But yeah, it, it was so great that this series was good because I'm hearing a lot of negative things about Cho Superhero Tyson's oh. story well, and progression. Ichi. It's a it's a Tyson movie. It, They're all not great. Except for Kamen Rider Tyson. That one was actually decent. Mm-hmm. So, uh... Fuck, fuck everyone who says it's horrible. I, en- I enjoy that movie. But yeah, the, we actually managed to populate a pretty good level of discussion with just those three episodes. Well, that's good, because for those that didn't know, yesterday I was wondering, like, are we going to have enough to talk about for, you know, episode 150? And you know what? I think we did. I think we did good. So yeah, so next week we'll be doing a double episode, and let's just say that our uh, next week our show might be a little more golden. Whoa. I'll just leave it, I'll leave it at that. 
Lane, 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 we live in Canada. You gotta say the English version and the French version. Uh, Le Gold. <laughs> Good enough. Wow. Thanks everyone for listening and watching. Uh, please check out castranger.podbean.com, the primary source of our hijinks. Wait, 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 wait. Emily? <laughs> yes? What did you think of Go Rider as a whole? Oh, Go Rider? Well, I... <laughs> Insert screeching noise. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. No, no, go ahead. Okay, uh, Go Rider, um, I thought it was actually really good. It was really, like, Gaim level suspenseful. It was... I would, yeah, I would be, I yeah, wouldn't oppose that it statement. Had, it had a few moments that were weird, like him, like when, um, XA was pushed out of the building and he was just suddenly in Gekitatsu Yeah, so. I, like... I get you want to show off the forum, but that was a really yeah. dumb way to skip the, the, the level up sequence. Yeah. There was genuine bloodshed in this, and like, interesting, like, I'm not saying that's a good thing, I'm just saying like, I was surprised by it. Oh, you yeah. should see Guga's final fight. Oh, see, oh, sorry. sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, the, the thing, though, is that it was all really good, and then the actual part with the common Sentai Go Riders was sort of dumb. <laughs> so the actual thing that makes the ser yeah. the mini series well, was the Go, Go was Rider the was good part. until Go Rider was good until Go, Go Rider. Rider Reme remember up. that those those five weren't actually the Go Riders in the actual movie. It's fucking it's, it's X Aid, Dano, Ow, Ow Ninja, Go uh, Bl uh, Yell or Beat Beat Buster, Buster, thank you, and, and Zolda. And Zolda. The what? Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Because we saw them transforming them in like one of the ads for the movie. So probably after they become the Go Riders, X A gets those cards. Or and Dino kills them. Decides, hey, you just five, no. four, or five of you guys here. There you go. Well, think of it. Decade kills them, and then he gives the cards to them. Okay. <laughs> I go. honestly, yeah, like the Go. They didn't need to have the Go Riders in this special, what? even though that's what it's so, called. So, so what are we going to call it? Uh, some dead people. Dead Rider. No, wait. Some yeah. dead guys featuring Genmu. I got it. We dead call Rider it, Tyson. I got it. We call it Shin Kamen Rider. <laughs> Shin Because dead. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, fuck. Can we have a mini series revolving around Shin, Zeto, and Jay finding out about the other Kamen Riders? <laughs> No, but we had a special where Shin was uh, officially got named, known, named. Oh the yeah, Kamen during Rider. the decade net movies. Yeah. But I can't wait You're for actually a Common Rider now. <gasps> oh, just dream. proposal Shin Common Rider next movie. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I had fun. So yeah. Hashtag, have we been doing it this long? We'll see you at episode three hundred. You <laughs> gotta make it to two hundred first. We're at one hundred and fifty. You gotta double down. Anyways, <laughs> as I was saying... We're all those fucking Sagittarius or Gemini fucking keep Tommy here. Anyways, as I was saying, please check out castranger.podbean.com for the primary source of our hijinks. Uh, check out our Facebook page, which is at uh, facebook.com slash rscastranger. Tweet at us at XC Studios. Uh, check out our recently opened Discord server, where you can chat with other fans, as well as us on the odd occasion, whenever someone's on. Uh, and please check out our Patreon with new exclusive content, as per our earlier discussion. Uh, and consider pledging to help us make the show better for you. Absolutely. Well, we finally did it. 150 episodes. Now can I have my own show, Ichi? Absolutely not. We'll, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. <sighs> Bye, everybody. Thank you, everyone, for listening. It means a lot. This episode of Cast Ranger has been brought to you by the glorious donations of our cast patrons, Oliver Nelson, Joel Maroney, and Chris Laird. Thanks very much.